fall. The CrossFit Open, the first test to see who is the fittest on the planet, the fittest on earth. Uh, you know, regardless of if you agree with that or not, it's a pretty cool thing. It's three different workouts across three different weeks, and you, you know, you get your score, and if you're good enough, you make it to the next round. The likelihood of somebody coming out of nowhere at the open and then making it to the games is incredibly low. But the open, I guess, is an important, you know, part of this process, even though. You know, the professionals are just going to make it past this round and to the next and to the next. So it's kind of silly. But at this point, I've started doing this, you know, open test every year since 2013. I think I missed a year or something, one of those years. But 2013 is when I started CrossFit and I felt like I was late to the game. Uh, obviously, I don't train CrossFit anymore. When, I, Like, honest to God, this will be the most out of shape I've been for CrossFit and maybe just out of shape I've been in in a while. Harnessing my David Goggins here, my inner David Goggins, and I'm trying to just <laughs> tell my mind that it's you, whatever, it's gonna be okay, just work. For a guy who is six foot four with a reach that I can guarantee you is at the 99.99999th percentile of all people partaking in the open, not an ideal workout. But hey, no excuses, just improve, right? This thing is gonna suck. Ah, uh, but first we're gonna do some pre-workout. Lean by Transparent Labs. You guys can uh, check out the link in the description and then also use my code, Zach. Um, there are some guys that I'm meeting at the gym who are super cool dudes. I saw them at On It. They were snatching and clean and jerking, and you usually don't see that at that gym. And I walked up to them like, "What's going on, guys?" And they're like, "Dude, we didn't want to bother you, but we're you know we've known about you for a long time. Like I've been watching your content for forever." Uh, anyways, we we hit it off, and then we ended up going out and getting some drinking in that weekend, which was. A little wild, a little crazy, but they, these guys are, you know, really actually good coaches. And so I'm going to meet up with them. I think we're doing like a little competition between us. I, the only competition that I have right now is me and myself. I have found it to be increasingly, year over year, increasingly difficult to do hard things. I'll get in the gym, I'll have a plan of something hard that I want to do and I'll just quit or I'll, I'll or I'll, I'll make it easier or whatever. So consistently, what I try to do is find someone else to work out with, hop in on classes, do stupid shit like the fucking open, you know? Hop in and be like, okay, I'm going to sign up and register for the open and just challenge your brain. Link in the description. Use code Zach. So that was my fucking warm up. Heavy dumbbell snatch. Now I'm ready to go. So yeah guys, back doing the CrossFit Open workout. Um, my goal for this was to not stop moving and I did a pretty good job. There's a few times where I had to take a break, but that really meant that my pace had to be a pretty much a crawl. Um, and and then I, I barely made the time cap, I, 1441. If I had gone any faster earlier on, I would have been capped and that would have been super embarrassing. And look, like I said, like this is probably the most out of shape I've been, you know, for CrossFit. Could be the most out of shape I've been, I don't know. Um, but I wanted to kind of 
just proved to myself that I could do it. It was wild. I did 21 reps and then I was on my 10th burpee and I felt a wave of anxiety being like, you cannot do this. And I was like, you could quit right now and say you're going to do it later and psych yourself up. Like I, I just kept saying that. And then I just kept moving and kept moving and kept moving and kept moving. I'm like, oh my God, we're at 15. Like, I don't think I'm going to make it. And then we got to that nine and I just started sprinting. And um, man, at the finish, that one really hurt. <laughs> Oh, fuck, you're done, boy. Good job. Oh, am I going to take you there? Good job. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh. I don't know. I was excited. I'm proud of my effort on that Ooh, shit. Hell yeah. It's like, I made 21 snatches and then 10 burpees. And I was like, fuck, I think I'm going to quit. Right, you made me fucking not want to do that. <laughs> Just a little yeah. shit. I, I, I want to be really candid with you guys. Like, I, I definitely struggle um, with social media and it, social media brings a lot of my anxiety to me. So I like scroll Instagram or whatever and I see people doing things in the fitness space and I'm thinking, all right, you're not working hard enough. Your body's not good enough. Like constantly doing this shit. It really gets to my head sometimes. I wanted to get out of my head for this. And I wanted to see if I could do something hard. That was it. And I, and I did it and I did something hard. So I'm proud of myself for doing that. Uh, maybe I'll talk a little bit more about the, the kind of anxiety that I feel around social media and like being an influencer or whatever. <laughs> I fucking hate that term. Even like my, even like my, my friends from back home who aren't in the space, the fitness space, like I'm, I'm like, I watch, look at their Instagram. I'm like, oh my God, the, the, you know, the development in their life is so massive compared to mine. Like I'm, what the fuck am I doing wrong? And like, I know you guys deal with that. And I, I am here to tell you that I deal with that as well. And I'm, I'm, I promise you, like, I would love to just be like, hey, I'm dealing with this shit as well. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll come back to that a little bit. But guys, like, this was awesome. It was awesome. You know, it's a shitty workout. It's boring fucking snatching and burpees. But like, I did what I wanted to. I got out of my own fucking head and I finished the workout and I got to have some ramen at the end with my boys. Like, Nice and smooth. One. Okay. Where are you from? Sam Perkins from Cardiff, Wales, but originally from Bristol, England. My score was 9.58. Whoa! What up, boys? 9.58, my judge has four legs, so it's approved. Your score? Ah, oh, slow, 12.18, 12.08. 10.18. No, 12, 10, 12. 10, 12. 10, 12. 10, 12. Oh, 10.12. Yeah. Oh, 10.12. Yeah. What was your score? <laughs> oh my gosh. And I just didn't get capped, that's all you need to know. All right, post-workout. Self. There we go. Come on now. Let's go. Yeah, come on. Not as good as Japan, but you know. Oh, you do have Oh, yeah, I bet. Yeah. Where about so you good. Go? <laughs> Is that like ruined just like we're in? Every day. Every day when we were in Japan, it was at least once a day ramen. Oh, God. Yeah. Or, and also, Asahi Dry oh, was the beer. That was the saddest bit about traffic. So when you come back, you don't need Yeah. It's not bad, though. All right. What's the technique for... I'll see you guys later. You guys want to say anything to YouTube before we go? Nothing that's appropriate. 
Follow Joel's YouTube. OnlyFans. <laughs> it is. <laughs> no, Chelsea, you don't want to do that. Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting. I'm glad you do it. Please subscribe. Which one of you put a shit? Which one of you took a tub of shit in my toilet? <laughs> it was me. It was fucking one of yours. Disgusting.